listen, I don't get, I don't give a damn who get mad about what I say. The reason relationships and marriage for greater understanding and greater context, even though this man, this male, this pandering simp, beta male, whole ass ninja, really should have took those speech therapy classes because I could barely understand him talking too fast, mumbling. How can you have a small ass neck and speak with a, with a mofo lisp? Dude, you didn't even know how to articulate yourself. You Left sound more. Pioneer's Drive. You sound very bitter, man. You, that you talking about yourself? And I got a question. Uh, where's your Where's your wife, sir? Are you in a relationship? Because let me tell you, ladies, this this is the type of whole ass ninja that doesn't have a woman, and he's pandering so you can pay his bill. Real dusty. You sound like you want a woman to pay your bills. You sound like you're trying to be the next pastor. I wouldn't be surprised if you was with Diddy. You got you got that Diddy energy. You'd have been, you the bit dudes like that are always pedophiles, rapists, abusers of women. But you women, because they he's he's pandering, you ignore that mess. Last time I checked, sir, the right problem with relationships is because of this fucking system. But you're cool and ass. The system is not set up for black people to have a functioning, healthy relationship, stupid. Where's your brother? You have all the stuff to talk about, particularly black men, but you don't have no smoke for white, white tea supremacy. This is the type of male that will sell out. He's the type of ma male, he's dangerous because he's a house Negro and he's a panda bear, black simp probably don't even have a black wife probably messing with snow bunnies are you in your kid's life if you got kids do you have a wife if no you need to shut up and I'll make you shut up just like a cop will make you shut up if you start running your mouth and talking reckless ain't that hard to shut up shut, shut a ninja up because you are a coward Black women chose to welfare over black family. It had nothing to do with all the excuses that is being made. You had black men in, in stable employment and stuff and, 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 and had well-to-do, high pay, just over brokes, bit, careers and businesses, and these women still chose the welfare system. She still chose no fourth divorce, the child's for an anomaly, kept the, kept children out of the biological father and using the system. Let's stop, let's stop being disingenuous. Women chose to be masculine because they, they have eggplant envy, cucumber envy, if you know what I mean. Women are the ones who are bitching and whining and complaining. You know, all, there's nothing stopping from women from being billionaires. All these handouts, all these opportunities, housing, automobiles that they really can't afford. These women chose to have children out of wedlock. These women chose to have a transactional relationship. These women choose the type of males they want to get knocked up. They didn't want to require to be a goddamn wife. <laughs> they didn't require marriage. It was transactional because they watched. Why don't you have to smoke for a sprinkle? Sprinkle that hyena. They choose to be prostitutes, side chicks mess with married dudes, Did chase men and try to set up men who don't want them, Put the man, make a man, you could be with this woman for years, come to find out the child ain't biologically, biologically yours because she was messing around, or she was dealing with some other dude, and, and then all of a sudden want to have relations with you and try to pass off to say that's your baby when it comes to find out when it comes to the DNA test, that's not your child. These women choose to be single mothers because of the goddamn handouts. Instead of some welfare benefits, food stamps, child support. If she gets married, out, it's, a, it's, a, it's a double, triple whammy. You got a problem with men speaking out and airing out their grievances? So what you want men to do? Shut up, just shut up and take it? Like a good little slave. Thousand feet, turn left onto Faison Road. I can't stand black males like him. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be mad if he was found, you know, hung from a tree. 
so or got unalived. Yeah, I'm serious. I can't stand motherfuckers like him. He part of a major problem. He ain't no goddamn solution. He's a pain in the bear trying to. The busy he's, road. He's freaking lazy because he don't want to get a real job. He moves like a hoe. Men are saying we want to be equal. Men are the ones that actually want equality. Black men are the most egalitarians when it comes to relationships. Feet. Turn left onto Simmerville Road. The most liberal. They have no problem women leading. They don't got because we, we they always said treat us fair and balanced, but these women don't want to be fair and balanced. They want special treatment and they want female supremacy. All power and no responsibility. I'm gonna land the plane since I'm working right now. Women want the power of white T males with money and resources and can write laws. They want to be equal to him and they want to be like him. And to Simmerville Road, then your destination will be on the left. They want the privileges of white T female hood, cave hoe hood, white, white woman hood. And all the privileges without doing, without doing feminine, without being fit, firmly and cooperative. Without shutting the fuck up and taking the woman's place. They want it all for nothing. They want to hand it to it them. It's on the left. You know what I mean? They want the responsibility of a child. No, they, they, don't, they don't want no responsibility. They want to do, do whatever the fuck they want to do without consequences. The problem with relationships is because we got too many weak, docile males that you, you because you're talking about yourself. And you're mad because you didn't have a strong father. And if you did, he was a beta male simp. If he couldn't um, knock your your mama and put, put, if he couldn't put your mother in your place, like discipline her with a belt, put a lay hands, make her be quiet and act right, then he weak. And that's not, um, that's how you, that's called corporal punishment when it comes for, for adults. But y'all okay with kids being, being inflicting pain and trauma, but oh, we can't do that to adults. I disagree. Because you sound dumb. You sound real stupid. The problem is the lack of accountability and women have never been held accountable on a, not just black women, but mainly black women, but YT females for their criminal, toxic, narcissistic, degenerate behavior, whoredom, sword, sword, whoredom, criminal activity, proxy violence, being a goddamn troublemaker. But you're mad because strong men are speaking out, and then you want to try to use ad hominem attacks and say if a man is being he, he expressing his emotions, his feelings, that he's weak. No, you're the one who's weak. If you want to hold in your emotions. Sir, you want to take it on the chin? I'm going to promise you that's going to destroy your mental health and emotionally and spiritually. And guess what? Because when you're in a, um, a toxic situation or a confrontation, especially with a female and she's acting a fool, you're going to snap. This is how some of y'all dudes end up behind, underneath the jail, underneath the prison. Because they told you you couldn't express yourself, you couldn't speak your mind. They want to control you. A man, a real man, is not con controlled, and nobody should listen to you. Anytime a man is trying to criticize other men, and you got a bunch of high needle heifers, you should never listen to that man, young men. Young men do not listen to losers like him. Stand up to the system. Call out unchecked female privilege, gynocracy. Call out these panda bear simps and shut them down.